was first shown in the United States at the end of 1990 when it won the grand prize at the Sundance Film Festival there were some some articles in the in the trades about the gay film that won the prize at Sundance a conservative uh, group in the US it still still exists today I think it's a different name he basically made a claim to senators and congressmen that you know American tax dollars were going to film were going to fund a film about gay rape in prison Velvet Goldmine really was rooted in in the real history and it was but it was a real history about a moment in pop culture where artists like Bowie were applying ideas that they had adopted from and they would be the first to say so from a kind of applied uh, you know uh, fantasy practice my influences are are vast I, I I would say and I think I continue to feel like a student of the medium in each film I do for instance with Wonderstruck you know it was all about one one part of it was looking back at silent film and really focusing on the silent film of 1927 which is right before the sound entered the medium and it's really looking at a chapter in our medium that is about as sophisticated and infinitely inventive and artistic as it's ever been.